Hello, Mr. Newton here. I'm back in Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction. We are playing the Andariel mod. It's the vanilla game, but the character is Andariel using the mod that changes the looks of the character into Andariel, and we are also using a mod that changes the skill tree into Andariel skills. Let's see here, auto map. Skill tree. Skills are different. Okay, we'll continue. We'll go into the harem. Okay. This is the palace. It's infected by demons. Or infested by demons, actually. No harem girls alive anymore. The harem level 2. see some girls here leaving the remaster they probably censored all the girls so you won't have a good mood of the women like this interesting to look for details in the game that I didn't really pay attention to when I was younger. Let's see what I can find. Here are a lot of dead guards. Paracel level 1. You are harm level 2 now. I want to kill everyone in the harm level 2 first. Check out all the areas. Giant blunderbore. Yep. The gold. Scroll of identify. Here the palace cell level one. There are many ways down to the palace cellar. More than one path. <laughs> These places are like uh, it's like an Arabic. Song. Let's open the 
sell the weight of the world seems lighter here we have some tortured demon and such So in, in Act 1, in the <coughs> monster, for example, they made all the dead rogues grey, ash grey, so they didn't look like, uh, they didn't look like uh, when they were alive. They removed all the colors, and also the blood was censored. Yeah. I need a key. Too happy with that censorship. I wanted an uncensored version in 3D. Okay. Let's move up to the harem level 1. I 
I can't carry anymore. Cell and then go this way. I can't carry anymore. Get the gold. They almost killed my skeleton mage. So I respawn him already. Identify. Light is annoying. It's difficult to see where we're supposed to go. It's more difficult to traverse this area than some of the other areas. Yeah. Harder to see the walls on the map. Now I think I know the way. Overburdened. I can't carry anymore. All right, nothing more to do there. Let's go and get that waypoint. Here was the waypoint. Palace cell, cell eleven. And we'll go to palace level two. The cell I left here. So they have the prison beneath the harem. It's locked. So about the prisoners, they would have uh, a lot of uh, like orgies and, and stuff. With the girls. I am 
overburdened. Kill those guys. Feel feel cool. Let's <laughs> move back and see if I missed any items. No, it doesn't seem that way. Cell level 3, already found. We want to kill everyone first. In palace level 2. Palace cellar level 2. Cellar level 3 Prison level 3 They killed my skeleton again Okay, I almost died I spawned a skeleton Potion, healing potion, good, and some money. Over here, the monsters. The skeleton is almost dead. He died, he will raise a new one. I also had a lot of skeletons here. Oh, the weight of the world seems lighter. I can walk 
and lim without stamina being affected, with limited stamina when we run. But this character can't, uh, we can run unlimited for a period of time, a certain period of time, but uh, this character can't run anyway. I do not want to go to the palace level 2. These guys were actually dangerous, they took a lot of damage. So we kill the skeleton again. Respawn him. Healing potion, turn portal. Let's pick them up. I don't like this area, it's impossible to see where, where you're supposed to go. Because of the light. Prefer act one. Entering the Arcane Sanctuary. Am I the first to find this arcane fortress. Okay, find Horizon's throne. Or should be some dangerous enemies here. This is a very weird place. We can use teleport pads to move different areas and the rogue's abilities is needed here. She is very useful, you can attack them from afar, unlike the others. We can also attack with range attacks of course. Ghosts were used to kill. I remember them being big. 
not built when I were at like level 15 with an ordinary character. Not very difficult for this character. Overburdened. A ruin there. Yes. These firewalls might be dangerous. I don't understand them. She's level 20, and we're level 22. Okay. I think we'll add uh, the strength. Uh, mana 
potions. Vectors. Mana potions. A new scale. Can wait with using it. They've already used one skill in every available build. Okay, so trade and repair. Repair all, yes. Items in this game can break, so we repair all. And uh, trade repair. There are no good items that we can buy, but we can buy more health potions here. Do have free space, what the fuck? Not here. Done. I will go back.
go up the stairs. Feel recharged. Skeleton again. My rogue got stuck down there. Hurry up. It's not the perfect area. Uh, lies. She managed to follow me this way. But, uh, she still got stuck. Identify it on there. I need to go and pick up. Okay, let's continue this way. Go out of the firewall. They are dangerous.
Right. They almost killed our skeleton. Spawn him. See, they have full health. Full health. Healing potions. I will return the Arcane Sanctuary. I am overburdened. Here, I can move back this way. I need to check if they'll kill everyone before we leave for the next area. I think there is one area we haven't been in before. So I think we'll skip any area connected to those portals. It's annoying to traverse those portals, so you don't really care. I guess it's time to enter the other portal. Same man, same floor. 
spell casters. Overburdened. Couldn't pick it up. Okay. Oh, the quest log changed. The boss is over there. Let's move back. This way. Summoner, which is the boss. Okay, I will respawn the skeleton again. We'll move over here and kill an normal enemy first. Potions should be down here. He's in the car of the specters or whatever. Go lord. That's the summoner. Fucking asshole! He froze me. I almost died. It's difficult. Good so lag the bit. Freak. Oh, a rogue took out the summoner. Nice. Turn to town for more information. Good job, Kyle. So, I can't rogue mercenary. 
caravan. I can't carry anymore. Very good. Chest. Seekers of the tomb of Tal Rasha will find it through the portal, but know that the glowing glyphs recorded here in my arcane sanctuary. The missing seventh sign marks the tomb of Tal Rasha. Of the Herodrum, he might be called the foremost. It was a shining but brief moment for the mage clans when they set aside their differences and worked together against the common enemy. The Herodrum relentlessly pursued the three across the desolate empires of the east and even into the uncharted lands of the west, leaving the Archangel Tyriel's hands unblemished. Presuming the three to be vanquished, the Herodrum's unstable fellowship began to dissipate. Abandoning their sacred charge to safeguard the three soul stones, the disparate mage clans began to squabble amongst each other over petty differences. Their conflicts not only dissolved their brotherhood, but strengthened the evils which they had buried beneath the cold earth. Alright. Canyon of the Magi. We can go there now. We'll go to the city first. You must move quickly now, friend, for Diablo is undoubtedly close to finding what he seeks. Find the tomb of Tal Rasha before he frees the Lord of Destruction. I hope that this false summoner found peace in death. Unfortunately, it is more likely that he will be dragged down into hell by the demons he was bound to. Let this be a lesson to you. Demonic magic is a quick path. But its powers are seductive and deadly. Okay, quest completed. And the summoner quest completed. Now we just need to take the staff into the Talrasher's tomb. And uh, seven tombs. Symbol of the tree. Symbol of the true tomb of Talrasher is this symbol. Okay, speak Lesson to Fersha. I don't think we were healed when we spoke to her this time, what the fuck? Pad our gear. There's nothing the right portion can't cure. Okay. We'll buy new potions. I believe as we finished two quests this would be the end of the episode so we'll return to the town portal we're back here canyon of the magi it's the start of the next episode here we have the final waypoint canyon of the magi an open area in the desert and we need to traverse it in search of the true symbol for the tomb of, tomb of Talrasha then we will enter the final area of the of act 2 inside of which we will find the tomb of Talrasha and when we find it we will finish this quest take the staff into Talrasha's tomb and I believe that the final quest will be something to do with the boss okay thank you for watching as we finished two quests in this episode. See ya in the next one. Bye.